servant cued him in that she didn't have a son and her husband was old. So Elisha told his servant to call her. When she came, he prophesied over her and said to her, about this time next year, you will hold a son in your arms. Well, the prophecy came to pass and the woman became pregnant and the next year about that same time, she gave birth to a son just as Elisha had said. The child grew, and one day he went out to his father, who was with the harvest hands. And the child said to his father, my head, my head. The father quickly told the servant to carry him to his mother. After the servant had lifted him up and carried him to his mother, the boy sat on her lap until noon, and then he died. The Bible says that she went up and laid him on that same bed where Elisha once laid, then shut the door and went out. Finally, she called her husband and said, please send me one of the servants and a donkey so I can go to the man of God quickly and return. Now when he saw her in the distance, Elisha said to his servant Gehazi, look, there's the Shunammite. Run to meet her and ask her, are you all right? Is your husband all right? Is your child all right? Hmm. With tears in her eyes and a lifeless son in her possession, she opened up her mouth and said these three words. She said this. Oh, 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 oh.
your life that you're holding on to. Those things that seem like they're not working out the way you've planned. Those things that cause you hurt and pain at their very thought. Those very things that seem to be cold, lifeless, pointless, dead, in which now you seem hopeless. It could be your marriage, your job, your grades, your relationship, your health, your dreams. And I dare you to open up your mouth and with all your faith and heart and power in your hand, raise that thing toward heaven and say, say like the shooter might want say these three words, say this.